Hello and welcome to Watches and Cocktails, the show where we make cocktails and talk about a watch you should know and more about, but already know the brand and one you may not have heard of. Like every show, we start with a cocktail. As always, I'm no expert and just an enthusiastic collector of watches and have family in the bar and restaurant business. I know cocktails and I know watches. Please like and subscribe to our channel, join our Facebook group, and as always, we have a giveaway. So follow the instructions at the end of the video. Now on to the cocktail. The French 75 is a classic Parisian cocktail that is ideal for brunch or any time of the day. Originating in the 1920s by Henry Macaron at the legendary Paris, New York bar. It was popularized in the US later. All you need is gin, simple syrup, a lemon, some champagne, and a shaker with some ice. First step, pour one ounce of gin into a measuring cup, and then pour it into your shaker with ice. Okay, and then you take one ounce of, sim or actually half ounce of simple syrup. And then we're just gonna cut a lemon in half. And I use a really neat thing called a lemon lime press. And we're just gonna squeeze that into the drink. you really have to do is shake it up, pour the contents into the glass, and then what you do is you top it off with just a little bit of champagne, about three ounces, and there's your cocktail. And I would normally drink this myself, but I probably shouldn't drink on camera. Here you go, Steve. Today, we have two amazing watches. One is an absolute classic, the Tudor Black Bay Herod's Edition 2021, and the other is the 220 watches William Walker. I'm happy to say I own both of these watches, and for the reasons below, I would buy them again. Now, Tudor was founded as an alternative brand to Rolex, with the idea being Rolex finishing and near quality, but more accessible for the everyday man and woman. Since 2009, Tudor has operated as a separate company than Rolex and has completely different design identity and language, with its most popular model being the Black Bay. This Black Bay Herod's edition is rare because it can only be purchased in Herod's boutiques in London, UK. One of the few tutors that is trading well above the retail price of $39.50, this Black Bay with the green bezel is highly sought after by tutor collectors. The muted forest green color of the bezel matches nicely with the off black and rose gold hands. Now the William Walker is made by 220 watches, which means best of all time, and is their first model. Designed after classic Rolexes of the 1920s and taking cues from some classic Patek Philippe, the William Walker is a homage and dedicated to William Walker, who spent five years repairing the Winchester Cathedral. The canvas strap that it was designed was based on his canvas and wax suit, while the case material of bronze and copper, first of its kind, was based around the helmet. A well-made Swiss watch, this watch comes with three awesome straps, all with quick release. At a low price of 1200, this watch is well worth the money. A watch doesn't have to be a brand that everyone has heard of for it to be a good watch for you can enjoy. You know, don't be a brand whore. Open your mind to new and exciting brands. Black Bay technical specs. On the Tudor Black Bay, Tudor's most popular model, 
It has some impressive specs for the money. The bezel is forest green in steel, rotating counterclockwise with really solid clicks and no play. No loom on the indicators on the bezel, which is okay, with the exception for the top indicator on the 12. Swapping straps out requires spring bar pliers, and I wouldn't use the single-sided tool to remove the bracelet, as you might scratch the case. Maybe it's best for you to have a jeweler do it for you. The measurements. It's 41 millimeters in diameter. It has a 41 millimeter case. It's 50 millimeters lug to lug. 40 millimeter and 50 millimeter lug to lug case. So it's extremely wearable. 22 millimeter wide lugs and 14.8 millimeters thick. So it's not really too tall. Fits my wrist perfectly and will most wrists, unless you have a giant monster wrist and you're a professional athlete or a wrestler, this watch fits most people perfectly. The material is 316L steel, case and bracelet, 316L steel, with I think a scratch resistant coating. I'm not gonna test it though, because I'm not for scratching my watches for entertainment purposes. It's brushed and high polished. The bracelet is 316L steel and has easy removal of links due to the fact that it's single-sided. Up your watch game and do this yourself or buy a watch repair kit off of Amazon for $20 or less. Takes less than a minute to take out the links. Just do it on a table so you don't lose the screws and ideally use a very small screwdriver with magnetic tips so you don't lose the screw. The bracelet's boring brushed steel they could have spent some money on doing alternated brushed with sandblasted or high polished to give it some bling. The clasp is a standard fold over clasp with a three pin micro adjust. I really wish they would have made the Pelagos clasp for the Black Bay with its amazing micro adjust, but I suppose you have to cut costs somewhere. Now the water resistance is 200 meters or 600 feet. So that gives you 600 feet of diving distance which is, makes it ideal for swimming or snorkeling. Wouldn't really take this seriously diving, but does anyone take their automatic watch diving? The dial and hands are ceramic with rose gold indicators. Now take note, microbrands, you can make a really beautiful watch for only 30 Swiss francs and use solid platinum, white gold, or 18 karat gold indicators in the watch. By using real gold, it gives it a really nice look. Gold with the light black dial and the green is a great color combination. Anti-reflective. It has seven layers underneath, seven layers of anti-reflective, just like any luxury watch brand should have. Because it's a dive watch and a tool watch, there's no AR on the top. As it should be, then you can really get nasty scratches. The crown. It's a really well-built screw down crown with two positions, wind and time set. You can see the rubber gasket between crown and the case. The movement is cost certified 70 hour reserve. So it's cost certified, which means it's chronometer. Um, it's a 70 hour power reserve caliber MT5602 in-house movement. In testing on the timographer, this was plus two seconds per day in five positions. Now cost certification is expensive and time consuming, with all the movements you sell needing to be tested by the Institute. Really is cost important? No, getting a movement that can perform a cost and regulating the watches yourself, you can call a watch a chronometer without the extra expense and time. Winding, it's hand wind and automatic. Automatic winding, bi-directional rotor system. Wear it for a day and I'll fully charge the reserve or wind it 50 times to get all 70 hours. Now moving on to the William Walker tech specs. The William Walker tech specs are pretty impressive for a watch at its price point. Since it can be worn as a tool watch or dress watch, they didn't invest much in water resistance, but that's okay. It still looks awesome, which is why you buy a watch anyways. The Swiss made watch has impressive specs for the money. The dimensions, it's 40 millimeters diameter, 46 millimeters lug to lug, and it's got 20 millimeter lug width. 12 millimeter height, the movement is a cost performance plus two minus two, highly customized Swiss STP movement, 
hang regulated to plus two seconds per day, cost performance, but not certified. Plus two minus two in five positions when tested on the timeographer, it really is accurate. The material is bronze and copper. So two different patinas will happen naturally over time. Patina is cool because like selvage denim, it gets way cooler and more valuable with age. The dial is ceramic with gold applied indicators and hands and with either blue enamel or gray fume enamel. Straps, it comes with a Horween made leather strap, a canvas deployment strap and blue and bronze NATO. It's really funny having so many straps. The water resistance is five ATM. This is not a dive watch and this works fine in the rain, but I wouldn't even wash my hands wearing it, which is perfectly okay. It's not really like you take a dive watch diving in the first place, but sure is fun that you can do the dishes or go swimming with the watch. Real divers use quartz powered dive watches with back illumination and a dive computer to calculate their dive. The case back is a sapphire case back. And I love an automatic watch that has one so you can see the movement and all of its moving parts in its glory. So moving on to how the watches make me feel. On the Black Bay, it makes me feel pretty good as it's hard to find and can really only be had if you have a friend in England who has a relationship with Harrods. Thanks Jared for the watch, by the way. The colors in the dial and the bezel makes me feel more rugged and overall tool watch nature makes it a good fit for my personal style. Now, I used to, didn't like Tudor as much. Now I like them as much as Rolex. This watch makes me feel like I'm telling people I like quality, but I don't blow my money on watches for flexing purposes. Now the William Walker, it makes me appreciate the fact that it was designed around history and it makes me feel like I'm telling others that I'm interested in vintage. The design is so timeless, it makes me feel modern and appreciative of history at the same time. I love how the light plays with the bezel and the dial, and while it lacks loom entirely, due to the fact the way it reflects light, you can still sort of read it in the dark. The beauty of the ceramic and enamel on the dial's luminosity makes me feel like I'm wearing a watch worth three times as much. Is this watch a good investment? Watches are not investment vehicles. The Tudor is trading in the United States about $3,000 more than its retail price. And when they discontinue it, it will jump another four to 5,000. The bare minimum you can make off selling this watch to a dealer is a $1,500 profit. So enjoy your watch and sell it when it goes up, then get something nicer or just keep it. I think the watch's patina of the William Walker will trade higher than retail, but who knows? With selvage denim that's properly broken in, I've seen people selling their jeans for up to three times what they paid. And I feel like the bronze and copper will have the same effect. What would you wear with this watch? The Black Bay pairs well with casual, outdoor wear, business casual, but not dress. Due to its colorway, I think it would look nice with heritage wear. The William Walker is best paired with outdoors wear, vintage, heritage, and even dress. Very versatile watch. I don't think a t-shirt and jeans watch though. It's just too nice. And are all the gray market dealers wear fancy hype watches and t-shirts and sneakers? I really don't. I really hope Queer Eye will do an episode with these guys. Get them learn how to dress their age. What does this watch say about me? The Black Bay 58 says I'm a guy who cares about quality and I'm a watch collector, not focused on hype, but really well-made things. The William Walker says I'm a watch collector who appreciates vintage styling and don't give a fuck about a brand name, but the watch itself. Now moving on to watch flaws. The Black Bay Harrods has a few flaws I would like to cover. The bracelet is boring, basic. The lack of a proper micro adjust, three pins is really a pain in the ass. On a $4,000 watch to me is suspect. The colorway itself doesn't really allow you to wear a lot of different clothes and the muted colors means you really have to wear a muted color outfit. I don't really like the rubber gasket on the crown. It makes me think it will need replacing someday. The lack of loom on the bezel makes me question who the hell would use this for diving if you can't see the minutes remaining on your eye. Come on, Duder. The biggest glaring flaw of the William Walker 
is one of its main attractions, bronze and copper. When you're wearing this, you'll find you'll get a green mark on your wrists. It would also be nice if they loomed the hands at least, but I suppose the design was based around the 1920s before loom. I also haven't broken in my canvas strap, so it's a bit etchy. I wear it mostly on the Halloween, which is beautiful. Would I buy this? I did buy both of these happily. With the Black Bay, it's my only one, and I have both of the William Walkers. Finally, giveaway. Every video review we shoot will have a great giveaway. If this video reaches 20,000 views in one month, we are giving away this amazing watch from 220 worth 1250 to enter, subscribe, join our Facebook group, share the video posted in the group to your page and tag two friends who like watches. Then comment in Facebook with a pic of your favorite watch and then a guess number of how many views this will receive. In one month, the first person with the closest number wins. Winner will be contacted. Again, the watch video must reach 20,000 views for the giveaway to happen. So share, share, share. Remember to comment the number of views you think it will be over in a few months time. Thanks for watching. Thanks to David, our producer, Casper, our editor, David, our executive producer, and Steve for making the show happen. The show is sponsored by 220 Watch. Why? Videos cost money to make. Are we therefore honest in our reviews? Well, we only review watches we like already and feel that a paid review is a paid opinion, just like an op-ed in a newspaper. You know, those guys get paid too. Looking for any specific watch and want to work with someone to find you a great deal? Contact us below via WhatsApp, DM, or Instagram, or drop us an email. For that or any watch you're seeking, and we can find it within a week. We have a flat fee and get discounts from dozens of distributors and retailers, so you pay the same or less. We can find practically anything and are much better alternative than taking the risk of Chrono24, which does not verify ads to be authentic or actually authenticate your watch, or eBay, which does not authenticate watches but doesn't verify the movement to be in good shape if it needs to be serviced. Plus, lots of fake ads. We have a one week turnaround with overnight free shipping, so not only do you save money, but you have someone who finds you what you want for below or market price. On the 220 watch William Walker, use our discount code and save $200, and the discount code is RISCANDY, and order below. What are your thoughts on both watches? What are your thoughts about the review? Let's talk about it in our Facebook group. Please like or dislike our video and subscribe for great watch content every week. We do review videos every two weeks and other topics one time a week. Follow us for lots of watch shots on an iPhone 8. I know, get a new phone. Cheers, until next time.